Well, welcome back. As advertised, it was a hot Labor Day holiday weekend, and it's going to stay warm tonight. One more hot day tomorrow. That's why heat advisory still in play for a good slice of the area, especially the river valleys, the Mississippi and its tributaries uh, through tomorrow evening. Now, the big difference between this heat wave and the one we had uh, about a week or two ago in August, it wasn't nearly as muggy with this one. So heat indices in the mid 90s, maybe as high as 101 or 102. Uh, you'll recall that one in August. We had heat indices in the 100 teens, uh, in fact, as high as 115 to almost 120 degrees. So it's been a drier heat, uh, but it's been hot. Uh, either way, you slice it, and it continues to be hot out there. 98 record-breaking degrees today. Uh, we should be around 80. Look at that overnight low of 71. That's 13 degrees above average. That 98 broke the record high of 95, set 98 years ago in 1925. Also, look at the rainfall deficit, 5.32 inches for the year, and that's why those fire bans are in play because it's been hot, it's been dry, it's been breezy, and there's a lot of fuel for the fires, so to speak. 95 degrees at the airport, 96 downtown at the station, but again, uh, look at the dew point at 61, so it feels like 95 as well. Same with Eau Claire, 95 degrees, uh, that dew point only at 58, so the real feel or the uh, feels like temperature only 94 degrees. And again, those breezy south winds 10 to 20 gusting to 25. Lots of heat east of the Rockies. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s, even some triple digits over the northern and central plains. Our neck of the woods, pretty much everyone between about 90 and 95 degrees, still 97 up the river in Red Wing and Minneapolis. But again, not overly muggy as of yet, mid 50s to mid 60s. So some of you feeling a little sticky, but those dew points will creep up overnight into the upper 60s to around 70 by tomorrow morning. Breezy south to southwest winds, 10 to 20, gusting to 25. Those will slacken a little bit overnight, but still kind of breezy. I'm watching this storm system off to the west with a cold front. That's going to bring a chance of showers and thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow evening and night, and that cold front will finally break the heat wave with much cooler conditions on Wednesday. Now tonight, clear to partly cloudy skies, but dry. Most of tomorrow dry as well, but notice off to the west by 6 p.m., a line of showers and thunderstorms develops to our west, maybe impacting the La Crosse area after about 8 or 9 o'clock, and then moving east and out of the area overnight after about midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Maybe some wraparound showers on Wednesday, otherwise mostly cloudy and cooler as those winds turn around to the north and west. Outside chance for some strong to severe storms tomorrow evening, especially north and west of La Crosse between about 6 p.m. and midnight with some gusty winds and hail, the main threats. Quick check of the high temperatures tomorrow. Again, one more steamy day. Highs in the lower to middle 90s. Most spots between about 90 and 96 degrees. And that higher humidity will cause those heat indices to approach 100 in many spots. 76 tonight, breezy, mild. Tomorrow, one more hot day, breezy, 96. And that pretty good chance for some scattered storms into tomorrow evening. Slight chance of showers Wednesday, breezy and much cooler. 70s for highs Wednesday through Friday. Back in the 80s for the weekend. Some low end rain chances on Sunday, Monday and and Tuesday. So if you're not liking this heat, some temperatures there to look forward to. Absolutely. Bill, thanks very much.